Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will continue with this part. So this is the axis number 2 and axis number 3 for our robot arm. The plan for this video is to install electronics. Basically we need to install O drive over here. Let's get started. So we need to install O drive and for this I 3D printed this piece. So as you can see this is O drive and it fits really nicely over here. Afterwards we will fix it with the screws. To this O drive we need to connect motors. Afterwards we also need to connect encoders. And this is my encoders. I already mounted them on this 3D printed part and I already soldered this wire. And also we need to connect this breaking resistor and for this I'm going to use this piece and the breaking resistor going here and afterwards it goes inside. And O drive itself is going underneath of this piece over here. I will start with the soldering of the encoders. And so it's done. Two encoders are soldered to the O drive. I also assembled uh, this breaking resistor and soldered two wires to it. And now I would like to install these two encoders. They are going at the back of the each motor. But in order to install it, I need to disassemble some of the parts. And now these two parts are separated, so we can install encoder one here, another one here. And I also want to take advantage of this and put some grease into our plastic gears. Now both planetary gearbox have the grease, so everything is okay. And now... So one encoder goes here, one encoder goes here. Here I already installed the magnet, here I need to install the magnet. And so this is a small magnet, it came with the encoder. And I have a special plastic screw for this. So the magnet goes inside, I need to glue it and afterwards it goes here. So magnet is installed and now we can install our encoders. When the two encoders are installed, we can solder the motors, breaking resistor, the wires for the power and the wires for the communication. Soldering is finished and now we can assemble everything. This is a communication cable. This is to control the fan. One motor and second motor is connected here. And this is two cables goes to the power. And so assembling is finished. Let me show you. So this is fixed. Also this one is fixed. This is a hole for the cables for the next link. So through this hole the cables will go here and inside this bevel gear to the next part of the robot arm. So all the cables come in here and just a final touch I can fix this cable with the zip tie. Great! The two C cables, this is a power for the controller, for the O drive. The two thin cables, uh, red and black, this is a power for the fan. And other three cables, yellow, orange and blue, this is for the communication. To remind you, this is the axis number one, which I made some time ago. I will try to connect this axis number one to this axis two and three. For this, I need partially to disassemble this axis. Let me just show you this. This looks so cool. Now we need to fix these two parts with the screws. And now we need to assemble back the axis number one.
Looks cool. Nice. We have here axis number one, axis number two and axis number three. So we have here three axes. Now we need to mount this beautiful piece on some support. And for this I have this base. This is aluminum base from Aluminum Profile 2020. And we're going to fix everything here. And this is our shoulder. Three axis. I should say that it's bigger than I was expecting. Over here I cut it, this piece a little bit because otherwise it does not pass because of this screw. But the rest works fine. Let me turn it around. Really huge. Now we need to connect everything. And I finished soldering. So the wires goes inside this box. They coming out. There is this connector and afterwards they are going to this electronics. I showed this electronics in my previous video. Here there is four joysticks. Each joystick has two degrees of freedom. And so I'm going to use two first joysticks for our three degrees of freedom. And this is a cable for fan. I didn't connect it yet. So today we are not going to use cooling. So let's switch it on and see how it works. Ha ha. First, first there is a calibration procedure. This is the calibration of the axis number one. Another calibration. And the last motor calibration. Axis number one. Oh, axis number two. And axis number three. It works perfectly. Nice. I think it's so cool that I really deserve a subscribe from you. So don't forget to subscribe. Of course, this is not a maximum speed. I can make it even faster than this. But I think it's already quite fast. Great! Don't forget to put the like. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I think the end is the most interesting because we saw how it works and uh, for me at least it was super impressive. This project is quite complicated but I really love how it works. It moves very smoothly, no problem. This is really great. So again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to put the like, one or several comments and if you like it really a lot you can share it in your social media. Also, you can support my channel via PayPal or Patreon. All the links in the description to this video. And by the way, big thank you to my Patreons. Here their names. Thanks to them, I'm doing this. Big thanks to you all for watching this video and for watching my channel. Good luck with your projects and see you next time.